The spinal cord has two layers consisting of white and gray matter. In cross-section, the gray matter resembles a butterfly with wings spread. Each wing has a dorsal, upper or toward the back, and ventral, lower or toward the belly, horn. Within the dorsal horns, interneuronal cell bodies accept information from sensory neurons to measure pain and temperature. These sensory neuron cell bodies lie in the dorsal root ganglion outside of the spinal cord. They send their axons into the spinal cord via the dorsal roots. The ventral horns contain the cell bodies of motor neurons. These neurons project axons out of the cord through ventral roots to supply muscles and glands. The size of the ventral horn, and accordingly, the number of cell bodies, varies along the length of the spinal cord. The increase in neuronal population reflects the need to innervate the more complex skeletal musculature of the arms and legs. Thus, the increase in ventral horn size also corresponds to the cervical and lumbar enlargements.